Hello everyone, it's Phil. It's time again for a new version of Windows. Windows 10 has just been released. I've got a ton of machines, I've got four laptops in total and all of them will be upgraded to the free version of Windows 10. So I'm not doing the normal uh, download method, I'm using another method that allows us to create a little USB tool. Now before you get started, you need to make sure that your Windows version is activated on your current computer and also that you have reserved your free upgrade. Otherwise, this might not work. So instead of downloading the Windows 10 upgrade on every single machine, we're gonna use the media creation tool and create a little USB thumb drive that has installation files on it. In order to do that, we just go to the internet and we do a search on the keywords Windows 10 FAQ. And that brings us to a Microsoft website, which has frequently asked questions on everything to do with the Windows 10 installation. Right at the top is a link for the media creation tool. And we're gonna follow that and download it to another, our desktop. On my laptops, I'm using uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. That's what the, these laptops came with. And I'm using also 64-bit, so I'm going with Windows 10 Home, 64-bit version and I'm just downloading this onto my desktop. After we downloaded the media creation tool onto our desktop, we're just gonna run it. It does take a while, um, the laptop I'm using is quite slow, but eventually it will pop up down below in the taskbar, so you just have to uh, click on it to get it into focus. And then you just follow the prompts, it's asking you uh, a couple of questions. Um, and you get a choice of doing a installation CD or put it onto a USB thumb drive. I'm using a eight gigabyte USB thumb drive and that's really it. From there on, the uh, process will continue automatically. It's quite a long process installing everything. So I'm just gonna use time-lapse to show you all the steps. But apart from um, filling out a few uh, fields and accepting a few prompts, there's not much else you have to do. Once the process with the media creation tool has completed, just navigate to USB thumb drive or to your CD DVD if you use the DVD version and then just run setup and the normal Windows 10 installation process commences. Once again, a couple of prompts you have to accept and a couple of fields you have to fill out, but that's really beyond uh, the video and it's pretty straightforward. So once again, I'm just gonna time-lapse everything and we're gonna fast forward this Windows 10 installation. And that's it. So I'm just checking whether or not Windows is activated. It's got a little uh, tool for that. And here we go, Windows 10 Home is fully activated. And that's it for this video. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Any questions, leave them down below. Have a great day.